wanted to show you, I guess, how to uh, remove your latch. Um, the normal standard latches that, that I have on this door mounts onto here. However, I see in the picture that yours mounts onto here. So what you just need to do is undo the U2 screws onto uh, off your latch so you can remove that. Uh, obviously that'll leave two holes behind then. Um, and to be able to mount your uh, door or to lock your door off using those two holes, you simply just need to locate, say if your holes are here and here, you just need to make them in line on the door here and here as well, just so it's in a square line. Um, and with the door here, um, you have to make sure you don't go uh, in this sort of 15 mil mark because as the glass goes into this section here. So your 15 mils is about here. So as long as you screw your holes sort of into this section here, just make sure you obviously don't go uh, past uh, this point here, which is your 15 mil barrier. Okay, you need to keep that free so you don't affect the glass. Uh, basically then you've just got to find Depending on how big your holes are here on your female latch, um, you have to see whether you've got screws that will fit those holes or whether the kit that we supply has those size hole, um, screws. Otherwise, you may have to source some yourself from Bunnings or something. So with the plate uh, that I believe you were provided, uh, you'll get one which is basically just a flat plate like that. Um, you should have enough to if you cut that in half um, what you're going to need to do is basically bend it from where your hole is around the corner just to there so you just need a piece that's basically about yay long so this is a bigger piece but that sort of gives you an idea because um, you'd only cut that probably just just past where your hole would be uh, and obviously you don't need that much on there so you just need enough so you can um, secure a screw into this section as well in your two spots uh, that way you're using up your two holes that you've got so they're both covered um, so yeah you basically just have to bend that into because you'll obviously only need like a little a little section so a little angle little piece here uh, across to there so then you just got to do that and you just got to make sure because we don't know what size holes you have for your female latch here so you just have to see if the screws you have that fit them otherwise you like i said you have to source some of your own screws um, and then you can just use we usually just use a 3.2 millimeter bit to screw two holes into here uh, and then you should have the right size screws that was part of your locking bracket uh, set up which is in the little small white box that you get with your door otherwise you can just use probably i guess any old uh uh, metal screw that'll fit that hole. It can go, it can be a little bit bigger screw. It's probably better that way anyway, because then it'll bite really well. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah, in a nutshell, that's about it.